Hi guys, Mark in here, the dentist, and another episode of Dental MacGyver tips and tricks for dentists. And um, today we go with uh, something more difficult. Uh, in this case, endo buildup. Okay, so um, we have a case and that requires um, buildup before endodontic treatment. Uh, you can see how it looks on the beginning. Uh, leaking, filling, um, distal and occlusal, uh, carious and mesial, um, big over overhang on distal area, um, different view from the occlusal side. So as you can see, it is not easy. Uh, when you remove um, the restoration, you can see big inflammation of gingiva. You can see that um, our uh, carriers is uh, subgingival, so it won't be so easy. I assume that uh, we all know that in this case you need to perform gingivectomy to expose margin uh, of your preparation, that you need to um, do it in the rubber dam. Um, so first trick uh, when you have your teeth so badly damaged uh, and you want to uh, use a rubber dam uh, wooden wedges helps you a lot uh, if you just place them interdental they will hold your rubber of uh, rubber dam uh, and expose margins of teeth uh, and this will allow you to um, prepare and to remove carriers uh, easily. And if we want to uh, perform with endo buildup in such case, uh, we will have to face a lot of difficulties. But I will show you um, the easy way um, how to do it and what do we need. Uh, to restore our mesial area, we will use a uh, matrix like this, the old school one. To restore our distal area, we will use something more fancy, Bioclear matrix here, 5.5, and we will need three wedges first the wooden one yellow second the wooden one but green so and third diamond wedge in this case yellow okay and one more thing we will use a blockout resin and we will use it instead of um, instead of a ring and we will create something that i call a uh, blockout ring but it's not uh, in fact a ring but i will show you in a couple of minutes what to do with it and how to uh, make make your life a little easier because when you will try to place a ring here it won't um, hold it will fall off because you do not have a um, lingual, lingual wall here and the uh, rubber, dam, rubber dam clamp um, in combining with no lingual wall it will cause uh, the ring to fall and trust me I tried uh, every ring I have here and I have all of them uh, all of them fell off um, and um, difficulty one of difficulties here is white interdental space here in this area uh, so one wedge won't be enough 
but placing them like here to um, to hold the matrix also won't be enough so you want uh, you will need to use a um, different trick um, to solve this problem uh, so this is how it looks mesial a uh, little easier um, so we wanted to um, restore this distal area with uh, bioclear matrix but when we placed only one wedge it uh, wouldn't hold it all fell off uh, because um, one wedge is too short uh, to uh, hold the matrix here in this area in case of this uh, zenith of teeth uh, getting to mesial and uh, having um, carriers uh, right here so one wedge is too short it won't hold your matrix so you need to use two wedges uh, one on the bottom and one on the top of the first one so basically it causes that you have something like one uh, taller wedge that will um, hold your matrix here in this area uh, so you place one of it uh, the bottom one from your uh, buccal side and uh, second uh, the top one from your lingual side by holding this bottom one with your hand while pressing this top one uh, in interdental space and basically what you get is something like this uh, so your matrix uh, stays in place but the difficulty again problem what you have to face is that you don't have your contact area and you assume that your patient will have to function like this a uh, little longer uh, because he has much more to uh, treat so you want to get this contact point here maybe not so tight because you will have to um, place your rubber dam here again for endodontic treatment but still you don't want uh, your patient to have uh, foot leftovers stuck in between his teeth and you know that your ring won't hold here so you don't want this construction to break because you spent some time to uh, create it so what you want to use here is a blockout ring blockout ring which you will customly create by yourself with using a blockout resin so it is very simple what you do you just place your blockout resin starting from the behind of uh, second molar going through the occlusal surface and holding uh, this part of your matrix with it then you take your composite condenser ball type you press here by uh, and you uh, push your matrix to touch the contact point of the second molar and you just like to cure it and what you get is your matrix touching um, the contact point of adjacent tooth and that's it so easily you get stabilization and you get contact point of your matrix on the mes mesial area was uh, much easier because only one wedge was enough here the green one uh, the cotton old school type matrix and just the blockout to stabilize it and that's it so here you can see how it looks this is distal area and here you can see 
the reconstruction in this um, prototype, let's call it like this, which requires only removing excesses of the composite with um, Soflex or inter interdental with Profin handpiece or whatever you like, it doesn't matter. Here is how it looks distally. You can see that we have contact point here. You just close this area with um, temporary filling and Tiff is ready for endodontic treatment. So something that looks pretty difficult to do, uh, in fact wasn't. And we were able to deal with it with not more than one hour. Uh, that's it for today. Take care. Uh, I hope it will be useful and helpful. Uh, see you next time. Bye.